On today's lending series, I'm interviewing Kate Fiokatistova. I'm so sorry I'm butchering that name. She will be on in a minute to say it properly. Um, I don't know if I've ever heard it uh, said out loud, but her name is Kate. We met on TikTok. Um, we have actually been conversating for a good while back and forth, sharing uh, creativity and just kind of content and support. She is out of New Jersey. So this is exciting for me, bringing somebody else on that's outside of our our little bubble that we have here in Western Pennsylvania. And with that, um, I'll bring her in. I'm excited to have her on. How are you? Yeah. Good, good. Now, is it Kate or Katie? Kate. Just Kate. That's Kate. what I thought. Yes. Yeah. Now, can you pronounce your last name? <laughs> it's uh, it's Fiaktistova. And my real name is actually Ekaterina. Ekaterina Sergeyevna Fiaktistova, to be exact. But we go by Kate. Yeah, Kate's a little easier. I I was saying your your name earlier, and I was trying to sound it out. And I don't think I did a very good job. So, what what's your uh, background there? Um, I'm from Russia, so oh, Russian. Yes, that's awesome. <laughs> Great. Good for you. I'm sure you got a ton of stories that can go with that. But uh, absolutely. Yeah. So I say we met on TikTok, which is totally cool. I love um, sharing support and creativity and all that kind of stuff on TikTok. And uh, my wife knows who you are. I was like, I'm doing an interview with Kate. She's like, oh, that's great. She knows who you are and everything, too. So it's really cool just kind of doing this and sharing, just sharing some stuff out there. Right. Um, Absolutely. I'm happy to be here. I follow you guys. It's like social media stars. I steal so many of your TikTok sounds. I feel like we've been friends for a long time. <laughs> I feel so cheesy doing that too, but I, that's TikTok. Everybody just kind of copies each other and tries to put their own little flair on it, right? So, no, absolutely. Um, so anyways, hey, let's jump into my three questions that I have, and then we'll kind of go from there. The first one is, let's introduce you. Who are you? We got a little bit, but who are you? And um you're with Crown, maybe talk about the company, just kind of who you are, introduce yourself. Absolutely. So I'm Kate and I'm with Crown Home Mortgage, but um, I am basically Kate Loves Mortgages. So I love to educate my clients, but for the most part, I'm from Russia. I'm a Russian girl I'm here to, um, I've been in the United States for like 20 plus years. So I really am more American than Russian at this point. <laughs> Yeah. I've been a loan officer for um, almost three years, and um, yeah, it's, uh, it's 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 exciting. Do you want me to talk more about my personal life or just my professional life? It, it's up to you. Whatever you want to share with everybody, um, it's it's literally up to you. It's nice hearing uh, your loan uh, with Crown there, and if you want to talk about yourself, that'd be cool. Absolutely. So I'm a mom of three kids and my oldest is about to be 18 in August. So <laughs> I feel like um, time just flies by. When you graduating this year or is it next year? I'm sorry? You graduating this year or is it next year? Next year. Next year. Okay. Graduating, yeah. And I'm trying to get him into real estate. I'm like, hey, listen, you want to be a realtor or a loan officer? I, I really do. My family jokes around all the time that I love mortgages more than them. It's not true <laughs> because I love mortgages in order to give them the light that I give them. So um, yeah. that's, you know, um, but for the most part, me as a person, yes, I'm a loan officer. I'm a very big family person love outdoors and um, enjoying life, but I'm so passionate about real estate and mortgages because it helps me live the free life that I love to live. I know it's a free, free, do whatever we want, but then we work seven days a week, right? right. Um, <laughs> because we love it. It's like the hobby at the same time. Mm -hmm. um, you're in New Jersey, correct? Mm -hmm. And then what states do you service? So I am licensed New Jersey, Pennsylvania, and Virginia, but I also am able to originate in any state that my branch is licensed in. So with just like half the country. Okay. There you go. All right. And then um, one other question, and then we go into, hey, is there any products, anything like that, that you can talk about with your company that you guys want to tout or say they're amazing about your company? So many. Oh my gosh, so many. But specifically, the one that I've been really crazy about is um, for clients who have the 20% down payment, they have good credit and they don't want us looking at their tax returns or income docs because they're buying a primary residence. If you have good credit and, you know, 20% down payment um, and your debt to income ratio might be high because we can't look at the full picture for the income or whatever reason, 
you can still get a loan. You just need to work with the lender that has products that fit your specific needs. So that's my right. most favorite one. I just had a client who I pre-approved for a half a million dollar house. She thought she was never going to be anywhere in that ballpark, but she has excellent credit and lots of you know money to put down. I'm like, you can absolutely get a house. And here's this program that I have. And I told her about it. So she's excited. Makes me excited for everybody else. Yeah, absolutely. Um, if you have good credit, you have a down payment. That's great. I'm finding nowadays it's actually not as big of a down payment getting into some of the higher end stuff. And then you were saying it's basically like a bank statement type loans and stuff like that. Or is it? How does that so, work? Yeah, we, we do bank statement. But bank statement loans still look at your debt to income ratio. This is right. called a community loan. Community loans, we don't even look at debt to income ratio at all. So you uh, could literally be unemployed. But as long as you have good credit and 20% down payment, we're not going to be checking. So I like that. I like that. That might help a lot of people actually out there. So uh, that's great. Um, and then obviously you do all the normal, normal stuff. Obviously. Of course. Yeah. And then um, the last question I always have, this is one of my favorite ones, is why somebody should pick you over, let's say, the next mortgage person, the next interviewee, whatever. Why Why are you the best mortgage person for, for the uh, client, consumer, customer? Well, first and foremost, my clients mean the world to me. Um, as we're, I'm sitting here in my office, I literally just got home from a closing. And um, the client that I just did a closing with, I've been working with her for five months. She had given up so many times. She worked with five different realtors before she had um, started working with me as her lender. <laughs> so, um, and I got her to the closing table because I get very committed and attached to my clients. And it's always about following up and nurturing that relationship and finding what works to get them to the closing table. Because anybody else who would have talked to that client months ago would have given up by now because of how many times we had to flip programs or figure out a way to get her into a house. Um, but here we are. And um, she wants to be a loan officer now. So obviously oh, that speaks greatly too. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Um, but no, I think that the reason why anybody should pick me is because I am so customer driven and customer oriented. My clients are everything to me. And if whether you have great credit, no credit, whatever your financial situation is, me as the lender, my job is to make sure we match you with the right program, follow up and get you from point A to point house. <laughs> Right, right, right. I mean, a lot of times with the cookie cutter stuff, it's it's pretty easy to do those. And if it's outside, mm -hmm. the box, um, there's usually more hoops and more hurdles and a lot of people shy mm -hmm. away from that. So it's amazing when somebody there can encompass every client that they have, you know, coming across their desk. So um, absolutely. So um, I appreciate this talk. This is the first time we've talked actually face to face. So uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm excited to see more and encourage you with everything you're doing. Um, I'm going to get all your information on there in case anybody even in New Jersey or wherever wants to get a hold of you about lending information. Plus, I'll have your link on there if anybody wants to follow her on TikTok and see some of her fun stuff. I do enjoy seeing her. She's uh, humble, kind, and uh, um, what's the next word I'm looking for? And uh, uh, inspiring she pushes she's out there pushing right so uh Thank you. all right guys i appreciate your time and um we'll see you on the next one